This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headlines. On number one, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, has urged ministries, departments and agencies MDAs to implement the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act 2018, expressing concern over the persistent non-compliance by public institutions. The speaker's message was delivered during a public hearing organized by the House Committee on Disability Matters in Abuja. Speaking on behalf of Abbas, Majority Leader Honorable Julius Inhovere lamented the MDA's refusal to align with the provisions of the Act, noting that less than 5% of the law had been implemented since its passage. He emphasized that the proposed amendment to the Act would introduce stricter penalties including a one-year prison sentence for non-compliance. On number two, Vice President Kashim Shetima, while addressing participants at the Nigeria Economic Summit in Abuja, conveyed empathy for the hardship faced by Nigerians due to the government's economic reforms. Speaking on behalf of President Bola Tinumbu, Shetima acknowledged the difficulties but emphasized that the reforms were necessary for sustainable growth. He outlined the government's efforts to diversify the economy by focusing on agriculture, manufacturing and the digital economy to reduce overdependence on oil. The Vice President added that the administration is also working to support small and medium enterprises SMEs, improve infrastructure and eliminate regulatory obstacles. Shetima highlighted key initiatives including single-digit interest loans for manufacturers and the establishment of a new credit corporation to provide consumer loans for workers. On number three, Mr. Taiwo Oyedele, chairman of the Presidential Committee on Physical Policy and Tax Reforms, has announced a new personal income tax PIT rate of 25% for Nigeria's wealthiest citizens, effective January 2025. Oyedele made the announcement during a session titled Physical and Monetary Policy Reforms Removing Barriers to Private Sector Investment. At the ongoing NES 30 summit in Abuja, he explained that a new tax law currently under consideration by the National Assembly aims to ease the tax burden on low income earners while increasing taxes on the wealthy. The reform is part of the government's broader strategy to provide financial relief. To struggling Nigerians and encourage private sector investment. On number four, the Nigeria Customs Service has extended the verification exercise for privately owned aircraft with pending import duties by one month. According to a statement by the customs spokesman, Mr. Mayuada Abdullahi, the new deadline for compliance is now November 14, 2024. The extension, according to Abdullahi, is intended to provide aircraft owners who expressed the willingness to regularize their import duties with additional time to comply with regulatory requirements. The NCS urged all affected operators to take advantage of the extended window to avoid penalties. And lastly, President Bola Tinumbu has welcomed the safe return of the Sipwa Eagles to Nigeria following the ordeal in Libya ahead of the 2025 African Cup of Nations qualifier. In a statement issued on Monday by his special advisor on information and strategy, Bayo Onanuga, Tinumbu expressed deep concern over the inhuman treatment endured by the players and officials. Despite the harsh conditions, the president lauded the team's resilience and their spirit throughout the ordeal. President Tinumbu expects the Confederation of African Football CAF Disciplinary Board to conduct a thorough investigation and impose appropriate sanctions on those responsible for violating the organization's statuses and regulations. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.